Hi, you're welcome to Yoga and You, where Hansa Ji, the director of our Yoga Institute, will have your question answered. So if you have a question, just write in and we'll get them answered for you. Thank you so much, Hansa Ji. So um, the big question uh, coming up for today is mm -hmm. that there is a Me Too movement, <coughs> which is very alarming, which is uh, the talk of the town right now. Yes. As much as one is happy that finally people are talking about it, one wished it didn't happen at all. True. What are your thoughts on it, Hansaji? How can probably the next generation not have this repeating again? <laughs> well, I would say I'm very happy about it. Really happy that people have learned how to put the things across. You see, in yoga, we never say that tolerate the nonsense. Right. We say don't react. But of course, in certain cases, when somebody is forcing himself on you, you have to push him out and you have to react. That's a different matter, but that's in extreme cases. Right from childhood, Aparna, we are taught, don't you think so, that our parents say that, look, your grandmother is telling, don't say anything. Your child gets irritated. Grandmother is pulling your shoulder or doing something, but you don't like it. But mother has told you not to react. Mm. Just keep quiet. So this training we are getting right from our childhood. And so somehow this reaction means what? Tolerating nonsense. So this is the other way. But yoga says yes, don't react. But say what you want to say at a right time in a right manner. When all others are there and when grandmother is there, then you can say my grandmother is, uh, did this and I didn't like it. Mummy, come on. Mm -hmm. uh, now, what are you doing? You are definitely saying, but in a little sweet way. Because again, Satya comes after Ahinsa. Means don't hurt, don't bring violence, but speak truth. So truth has to be sweet. Here comes a very strong karma theory. That whatever you will be speaking, you, will be, you are doing karma, action. And that action is going to have its own reaction. You will have to face the consequences. Whatever you put, you are going to get it. So if you are insulting somebody, you should know that somewhere you will also be getting insulted. If you are, you know, because of some grudges, you are talking in Me Too that this person did this and that, when uh, things may not be that right, that is going to create problems. So there has to be a truth first. In Me Too movement, I would strongly say that it's only truth and truth prevails. Otherwise, that person who is speaking anything uh, will have to face the consequences, not maybe by the world, but by the law mm. of nature. Yeah, what of what we use the word, say law, you may bring the word God, you may bring the word universal law, but that has to happen. So this movement, according to me, is a very good movement. Everybody should know that they are supposed to put across the point, speak and speak to that person who can make some sense. I mean, who can bring some changes in the society. This is a very good change in society. Aparna, this problem is right in the family. You, you know, it is not just the problem in the office, right. but in the family. Here is some uncle doing this or uh, in the office, these things are happening. Somebody is overpowering. Law of jungle is what? Law of jungle is that strong overpowers weak. Now this is it, animals. Humans are supposed to protect themselves and supposed to see that they speak when things are not right. Mm. We have to learn to prevent the problem. When you find person is having a little different eye or different, different touch, mm. you should always go away from that person, avoid it. But in the office, sometimes you may not be able to do. So then you should learn to little bit keep away distance. We believe that person should maintain that uh, healthy distance, human to human distance from everybody. See our Indian culture, how we greet people, we do Namaste. Namaste. Why? Touching, we would not say is right. In the same way. This Me Too movement is such that prevent the problem. If you can't, at the right time, you should do something about it. Opposite person must know how far he can, he can go. go, otherwise he'll lose you. 
And Saji, while you're talking about this, about the other person being more aware of his limits, right. and also earlier you mentioned about the bringing about a change in the society. Right. I wish all the mothers were a little more conscious when they were bringing up their sons, yes. right in the family with grandmothers, everybody to know for the son to know what his limits are and how Absolutely he should respect women. Absolutely, he should respect women. Boys must know that there is girls are equally strong, rather stronger than boys. And boys must respect girls. Right. And boy must see that when there are chances to overpower girl would not be right because he will be facing the consequences. Right. That's why this Me Too is very important, that now the girls are also protected legally. And that is very good, but girls should not take undue advantage because I have noticed in certain cases where girls also have taken undue advantage. Um, in marriages basically, a girl wants to leave because here is a mother-in-law and sister-in-law staying and she can't tolerate the nonsense so she leaves and goes away and then she blames uh, that the boy has taken undue advantage of hers mm. and forced her and that's why she doesn't want to do. Now here, these are two different interests. She should find out how to deal with them rather than blaming boy that uh, misusing the whole misused, concept. Yeah. Misused. So somewhere truth has to be there in this me too. I would strongly say that. But truth will bring right things in the limelight and that would help changing the whole society. Uh, every human will understand what he should do and what he should not do. Thank you so much, Hansaji. Like we uh, just discussed, we are looking forward to a brighter future where men and women are far more conscious of their attitude and you know where they're headed to. I hope we all have a safe time. Thank you.